In this problem, we're given a quadratic function and we have to graph it. So we have f of x equals parentheses x plus 2 quantity squared minus 9. And if you look down here, it says use the graphing tool to graph the function. Use the vertex and one of the intercepts when drawing your graph. So to find the vertex in this problem, since it's written in standard form, remember standard form means it's written like this. What we can do is we can use our trick. We can switch it and keep it. So you switch the sign here, it's negative 2, and then you keep the sign here. It's already negative, so it stays negative. So that is the vertex. Coincidentally, the axis of symmetry is always x equals that number no matter what. So that is the axis. Okay, so we have the vertex. We know that that's always the axis, x equals that number. And we need an intercept. The easiest intercept to find is the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you always plug in 0. So f of 0. Then you just replace all of the x's with zeros. So 0 plus 2 squared minus 9. 2 squared is 4, so you get 4 minus 9. So you get negative 5. So f of 0 is equal to negative 5. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 5. Okay, now we're ready to do the graph. So I'm going to come over here and click it. It says click to enlarge graph. Then it says click the graph, choose a tool in the palette, and follow the instructions to create your graph. So it looks like we have to use this one here because that's what a parabola looks like or a quadratic function. So let's click this one. This one here is also a quadratic function, but we don't study these uh, in this course. So I'm going to click this one. And then it says click the graph to plot the vertex. Notice up here, um, the point shows up. So we want the point negative 2, negative 9. So it's going to be way down here. Looks like I'm OK. I'm on a left click. Then it says click the graph to plot a point on your parabola. Now this is kind of deceiving. If I plot another point on the parabola and it's correct, it'll mark it wrong. Uh, it actually wants the y-intercept. So if you don't pick the y-intercept, you'll actually get it wrong. So we figured it out. It's 0, negative 5. So there it is, 0, negative 5. So I'm going to left click, click Save, and then click Check Answer. All right, we got it right. So it's very important to use the y-intercept, otherwise you'll, you'll get it wrong. I suppose you could use the x-intercept. It does say one of the intercepts. I've just never tried it. The axis of symmetry is, well, we know that's x equals negative 2. Very important to write it as an equation. Uh, apparently the homework knows that. They even say type an equation, which is really good. It is a, it's an invisible dotted line, right, that cuts the parabola right in half. So x equals negative 2. I'm going to click Check Answer. Now it wants the domain. The domain is the set of all inputs. It's all of the x's that give us y values. Well, I can pick any x on this graph, and it's going to give us a y value. If I pick x equals 4, it gives us a y value that's off the screen. If you pick x equals 0, it gives us this y value here. Pick x equals negative 1, it gives us this y value here. You can pick any x and you always get a y value. So the domain is all real numbers. So parentheses, negative infinity to infinity parentheses. And then click check answer. Good stuff. The range, the range is all the possible y values and we're going from the bottom up. Looks like it's negative 9 to infinity and we include the negative 9, so we use a bracket. You can also look at your vertex. The smallest y value here is negative 9, because the parabola opens up. So negative 9 to infinity. Always from the bottom up for range. So bracket, negative 9, comma, infinity, and parentheses. Then you hit check answer. And that's it. We finished. I hope that made sense.